My name is Miss Hu and I am a physics teacher. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to observe how the water pressure changes with its depth. This activity is so simple, you can do it as well at home very easily. The main thing you would need is a disposable plastic water bottle just like this. If you have a larger water bottle, by all means, go ahead and use it. In my case, I'm using this size because, well, I happen to have this one and I've already finished the water on the inside. So that's why I'm going to use it. What we're going to do is we are going to punch five holes into its side. We're going to punch three holes vertically and three holes horizontally. Now, that makes a total of five because we're going to reuse one of the holes. So three holes vertically. At the bottom level, this hole will be considered as part of the three at a horizontal. So that's why we get a total of five holes. When you're punching the holes, try to get the holes to be spaced out as evenly as possible for better observation. Now, if you're wondering, hmm, how do we cut the holes on the side of the bottle and make it look nice? There are two options for you to consider. One, you can use a craft knife and cut the holes into the side of the water bottle, nothing wrong with that. I'm going to show you another method to get nice round hole, just like this. For this, you would need a wooden splint. If you don't have a wooden splint, for those of you who do Chinese prayers at home, you can also use a joystick. If you're wondering where to get one of these wooden splints, you can get one off a lady broom, or you can use a satay stick. So in order to burn the hole, you need to light this wooden splint on fire. So when we light it on fire, you don't need the whole stick to go up in flames. You just need to light it enough so that it gets that glowing ember. So as you can see, the splint is now on fire. We don't need this flame. Make sure you can see that orange glow. And then we're gonna do is when you put it out, you can see it glowing. This is quite hot, so make sure you don't touch it. What you're going to do now is you're going to take this glowing ember and you're going to create a hole in the side of the plastic bottle. So if you move it round and round, that's how you can get a nice round hole. If the splint has gone out, you can light it on fire again. Make sure that it's not flaming. You just need an ember just like this. So I'm going to create another hole here. The hole doesn't have to be very big, it just needs to be big enough for water to come out of it. So if your splint has gone out just like mine, you just need to set it on fire again and get it to glow one more time. So whether you are using a craft knife or a glowing splint, always remember safety first. Children, if you don't know how to handle fire, make sure you get the assistance of an adult to handle this activity. Teenagers, just make sure that you don't burn anything, including yourself. Remember, always be safe. So it may be a little bit hard to see, but if you look closely, I have three holes on the vertical. I've got one, two, and three, and two more holes that is at the same level as the bottom hole. We've got one hole, two holes. That makes three holes that's on a horizontal and three holes on a vertical. Total of five holes. Now, of course, if you want to punch more holes into your water bottle and observe how the water pressure changes at all those different depths, by all means, feel free to do so. In my case, I'm just going to stick to these five holes. So now for the activity, what we're actually going to do is we're going to be watching how the water flows out of the bottle. Ideally, we should be doing this in a bathroom or over the kitchen sink. However, because I'm taking this video, I don't want to take this video in a bathroom or over the kitchen sink. Awkward much? So in order to keep my work table dry, I have prepared a basin here, which is going to catch the water that's flowing out of this water bottle. To prepare the water, I've got a water jug right here. So for this activity, what we're going to do now is we're going to pour the water into this bottle as quickly as possible. If you like, you can actually tape, masking tape, 
over the holes and once the bottle is filled with water you peel off the masking tape to see how the water flows out of the holes but in this case i'm just going to pour the water in really quickly and you'll be able to see how the water flows really quickly masking tape sometimes doesn't quite work for this activity because it may not tape the hole completely and water will start leaking out and then trying to peel the masking tape off is uh, really awkward so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pour the water in to this bottle as quickly as possible and i want you to observe how the water flows out of all these holes so observe and as you can see the lower hole has water spurting out at a greater distance what this tells us is that the greater the depth the greater the pressure and you can see these three horizontal holes have water spurting out at equal distances what this tells us is that water at the same depth has the same pressure one more time Again, observe, the greater the depth of the water, the greater its pressure. At the same depth, pressure is the same. If you like this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Physics Rocks. Thanks for watching and have fun.